All right, back again. Today we get out the NES, and I figured we could put in this game here, Shadowgate. So let's pop that in, play some of that. Now I've mentioned this in other videos of mine, but uh, Shadowgate is definitely one of my favorites. Just such a well-designed game. Great puzzle game. If you've never played it before, I totally recommend picking it up. Let's uh, jump into it here. Good strategy game. Uh, game starts you off outside here. You're uh, kind of banished out here into this dungeon that you have to go through. And um, yeah, there's many different uh, things on the inside of this dungeon that will lead to either uh, you getting out of the dungeon or to sudden death. Just depends on what you do, um, the items, how you use them. Really, really great game all around. So, let's see here. First off. I love the music. One thing is the pointer has to be pretty um, right on. Um, sometimes you'll wind up hitting it and uh, it won't do stuff. It'll say like, oh, there's no point to it. So you have to really make sure that you get that uh, that cursor right on the object that you want to uh, get. One thing about this game here is you'll notice there's torches up in the top. No, those torches are basically your time. Um, when those torches go out, you either have to use another torch, as you can see over here, or uh, if you're out of torches, you're kind of out of luck, so... Like that. Didn't really need to use it there, but uh, just to give you an idea. The music will change after a while, and uh, it'll start getting a little bit more and more eerie, so you gotta be careful with the torches how many you use, at what times that you use them, because they really are uh, valuable here. Such a great game, though. I said there's so many different uh, secrets in here you just you have to look around the room here uh, really carefully um, that last area that we were at um, if you wind up uh, taking the books off of that uh, that uh, case there um, you'll fall to your death and die so I used to play this so much, it was ridiculous, back in the day. And it's pretty tricky, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you have to memorize here in order to get it uh, to work the way that you want it. But just an all around awesome game. Love the music. game has uh, a lot of replay value. It's just a lot of fun. So here, like, uh, like I said, sometimes you have to do stuff twice. All sorts of cool hidden stuff in this game. It's just fantastic. Well, like I said, the cursor has to be right on in order for you to uh, 
Um, do what you want to do. I'm going a little bit fast through this, so I just want to try and show you as much as I possibly can. Like, even in this room here, this can mess you up if you're not careful. Um, And when you open up bags here, you have to take the items that are inside. Um, if not, then they just sit there, so... Like, uh, this coffin here, if you open it up, there's like, uh, some body dissolving slime. This one's interesting if you open this one. Like I said, it's just, it's really well designed game. It was a lot of fun back in the day. And still, even to go back and play it, just a whole lot of fun. I've played this game so much that I know the majority of this game, like, backward and forward. That's the music that uh, happens when your torches are going out, so just hit that and you're back on track. Like that. Gotta get the uh, cursor on there again. We're starting to get a little bit low on time here, but uh, just want to show you what Shadowgate looked like for the NES. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic game. If you have a chance to pick this up, totally recommend it. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.